That is not the case in some parts of the West where fireworks are banned because of the threat of new wildfires. Dozens are already burning. John Blackstone is at one of the largest in Yolo County, California. Firefighting helicopters flew into thick smoke today, battling a massive wildfire that's burned more than 80,000 acres in three rural counties west of Sacramento. Nearly 3,000 firefighters have been working around the clock, lighting backfires and building a containment line in an effort to keep the flames at bay. The wildfire is threatening more than 1,000 homes and buildings. Hundreds of residents were told to evacuate. It's a little nerve-wracking because grass fires move so fast. The fear now is that this fire could overtake a mountain highway that's used by travelers heading to nearby Lake Berryessa, a popular holiday destination. Intense smoke has already snuffed out 4th of July celebrations here. We have had zero launches, zero rentals, zero customers. Wildfires also continue to rage in Colorado, where the spring fire alone has devoured an area larger than the city of Detroit, as well as destroying more than 100 homes. And in Utah, officials ordered more residents to leave as firefighters struggled to contain fast-moving flames east of Salt Lake City. Back here in California's Yolo County, Chris Turkovich worries about his family vineyard. The grapes will actually absorb some of that smoke, and that's a big problem. Persistent heavy smoke is blanketing the mountainside here, creating another challenge for firefighters who in this fire season are already battling many challenges. Some two and a half million acres across the country have already burned. That's well above the national average for this time of year. Biana, John Blackstone in Yolo County, California.